Welcome to Utique Lifestyle. This is a wardrobe planning series in collaboration with So Much Fabric, where fabric is sewn into fashion. This is the general process of how I sewed my linen sailor shorts. I will be modifying the toile I made for McCall's 3892. I had used it to sew my 70s inspired jumpsuit. And this is the toile for my sailor shorts. I am now ready to take the toile apart. At this stage, rods with so much fabric suggested I use a red linen fabric. I love the flow and the breathability, and it was perfect for the Texas summer heat. Before I cut into the fabric, I did prepare and pre-shrink the fabric. I followed the instructions in Sandra Batsina's book, Fabric Savvy, under linen, page 66. After I ironed it, I was ready to lay out the pattern pieces onto the fashion fabrics. I want to take this time to thank everyone who visits my channel, watches my videos, read my blogs, just visit my social media sites and showing love and support. Because of you, I strive to do better and I want to continue to learn and grow and improve my art. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Now that I have 26 pieces cut out, I am going to serge the fabrics. After serging, I keep them under my muslin pieces that are labeled so that I know which pieces are which. Next, I'm going to iron on the interfacing to the pocket flap, the front waist, and the back waist. Now I am ready to sew it all together. At this stage, I'm going to focus on the pocket. With right sides facing each other, I sew along the sides and the bottom, leaving an opening so that I could turn it inside out. And here I am trimming the seams at the corners so that when I turn it inside out, it would have a nice point. Now I'm going to measure the pocket flap to have a 2 inch width and I'm going to iron it down. I am going to center it and place it on top of the side seams where I had marked it and I'm going to sew along the fold. Next I'm going to stitch along the bottom flap to secure it in place. With the pocket square I'm going to iron down 5 8 inch at the bottom and 2 inches at the top. I'm going to do a fourth inch stitch at the top of the pocket square. I will place it on top of the side seam and pin. Next stitch a fourth inch from the edge. I will also stitch a fourth inch on the top flap. And this is how it will look with the pocket attached. I'm going to sew on the back side and now the front side. Now for the front side, I'm only going to sew it all the way up to the pocket flap. Attach the cuff of the shorts. Sew together the waistband. Now I'm going to sew the waistband to the shorts. I'm going to take the front panel and open up the corner that I had ironed down. I'm going to create a modern corner and stitch that together. I'm going to reverse stitch it in the other direction to secure it. I'm going to repeat this process for the other side to create a mirror image. You may notice that I don't have a pocket flap and a waistband for the other side because I ran out of fabric. But we'll continue. I'll fold over the shorts to line up the crotch seam and sew. Now I'm going to lay one side on top of the other and line up the back seam and pin. I'm going to pin the back seams together and then pin following it all the way around to the front. You're going to sew the shorts together following the pins. After it is sewn, remove the pins and it should now be attached down the center and still have an opening for the zipper. Now at this stage I was able to get more fabric to attach the waistband and the pocket flap. For the next step, I had already sewn the lining together and I am going to just slide it into the shorts and attach the lining to the shorts. I am going to pin them together at the waistband and stitch. I will fold over the waistband to encase the lining and also sew on a ribbon hem to the edge of the waistband. Now that the lining is attached, I'm going to work on the front panel and do a 1 4 inch stitch all the way around. 
Here I met up with Roz to select buttons for my sailor shorts. I did choose the buttons already, but I'm curious which buttons you would have chosen for your shorts. I attached all the buttons to the front and the back. And I'm ready for the finishing touches. I did a fourth inch stitch to the cuff, trimmed off the fray on the selvage, attached the hem to the lining, sewed on the zipper, and then sewed the lining to the zipper. I followed the lining all the way around, so I'm attaching the waistband to the lining and then going back down to the zipper. I will flip it inside out and I am complete with the shorts. Well, thank you for watching, and I hope you got inspired to create something extraordinary out of the ordinary. If you enjoyed this video, please click like, subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell for future videos. Here are some of the outfits I put together for my linen sailor shorts. Which outfit do you like, or how would you have styled it? Well, I hope you have an extraordinary day.